Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 and what are the key features of Data Lake Storage Gen 2. I will log into Azure portal. I will show you how to create an ADLS Gen 2 account. And after that, I will show you how to access that ADLS Gen 2 account using Storage Explorer tool. And I will show you how to upload the files using Storage Explorer tool. Introduction to Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 is a highly scalable and cost-effective data lake solution for big data analytics. It combines the power of a high-performance file system with massive scale and economy to help you speed your time to insight. Data Lake Storage Gen 2 extends Azure Blob Storage capabilities and is optimized for analytics workloads. Data Lake Storage Gen 2 is the most comprehensive data lake available. Azure Storage is a Microsoft managed service providing cloud storage that is highly available, secure, durable, scalable, and redundant. Azure Storage includes Azure Blobs, Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, Azure Files, Azure Queues, and Azure Tables. The cost of your storage account depends on the uses and the options you choose. Designed for Enterprise Big Data Analytics. ADLS Gen 2 designed for Enterprise Big Data Analytics. Data Lake Storage Gen 2 makes Azure Storage the foundation for building enterprise data lakes on Azure. It is designed from the start to service multiple petabytes of information while sustaining hundreds of gigabytes of throughput. Data Lake Storage Gen 2 allows you to easily manage massive amounts of data. Data Lake Storage Gen 2 builds on blob storage and enhances performance management and security in the following ways, performance, management, and security. Key features of Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. It is Hadoop compatible access. Data Lake Storage Gen 2 allows you to manage and access data just as you would with a Hadoop distributed file system. The new ABFS driver is available within Apache Hadoop environments, including Azure Hadoop Insight, Azure Databricks and Azure Synapse Analytics to access data stored in Data Lake Storage Gen 2. It is cost effective, optimized driver. The ABFS driver is optimized specifically for big data analytics. And I said uh, Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 is cost effective. Data Lake Storage Gen 2 offers low cost storage capacity and transactions. As data transitions through its complete life cycle, billing rates change keeping cost to a minimum via built-in features such as Azure Blob Storage life cycle. And scalability. Azure Storage is scalable by design, whether you access via Data Lake Storage Gen 2 or blob storage interfaces. It is able to store and serve many exabytes of data. This amount of storage is available with throughput measured in gigabytes per second at high levels of input output operations per second. Cost effectiveness. One of the main benefits of building Data Lake Storage Gen 2 on top of Azure Blob Storage is the low cost of storage capacity and transactions. Unlike other cloud storage services, data stored in Data Lake Storage Gen 2 is not required to be moved or transformed prior to performing analysis. One service, multiple concepts. Data Lake Gen 2 is an additional capability for big data analytics built on top of Azure Blob Storage. 
while there are many benefits in leveraging existing platform components of blocks to create and operate data lake for analytics it does lead to multiple concepts describing the same shared things i will log into azure portal i will show you how to create a adls gen2 account and after that we will access adls gen2 account through storage explorer 2 i am in the azure portal i will go to search just type storage account under the services we see storage accounts just click on storage accounts and create a new resource group i will just give a name adls gen2 resource group and storage account name we just say ALS storage account test and location let's keep it U west us and performance standard and account kind storage v2 and replication i'll just choose locally redundant storage low cost replication let's go to networking connectivity method let's keep it public endpoint routing preference keep it microsoft network routing data protection let's keep default block of delete just keep it disabled for now and go to advanced and here we need to enable data lake storage gen2 so we enable data lake storage gen2 and then let's go to review the validation looks good so let's create this ADLS gen2 account a deployment is underway once once this deployment is complete then we will access the ADLS gen2 account through azure storage explorer tool the deployment is complete let's go to resource and here we can see the container massively scalable data lake storage under the data lake storage we can see the containers here you can click on the container I'll just create a container, let's say ADLS test one container in public access level, just private. And I will create this container here in the portal. And now I will open Azure Storage Explorer tool. I will access the storage account using Storage Explorer tool. I opened Azure Storage Explorer tool. Now we need to connect to Azure Storage account. On the left side, just click on Open Connect dialog. Just click on it. And you can choose this Add an Azure Account option. Just click on it. And then it will ask you to enter your email and password. I already entered my email and password. Now I'm able to log into I'm able to access this storage account. So let's click refresh all. Let's go to the subscription and go to storage accounts. And we can see it here, the ADLS Gen2 account that we just created. Let's click on this and we should see one container. So here we can see that container, ADLS test one container. If you want to create one more container, you can just click on it. Click on block container, create another one. I will say ADLS test two. Now we have two containers. So now I want to upload a file in this ADLS Gen2 account. Let's click on upload. You can upload folder or file. I'll just upload the file and select files. I'm uploading file from my local machine. So here I'll just pick that movies data and upload the file. It just takes a couple of seconds. Now I have file ready in this ADLS Gen2 container and you can open this file and you can make changes. If you don't want, if you want to delete this file, you can 
you can delete the file using this delete option so you can use either azure portal or azure storage explorer so in this module so far we covered what is adls gen2 account what are the key features and how to create it ADLS Gen2 account using Azure portal and how to access this data lake storage account using Azure Storage Explorer. If you have any questions on ADLS Gen2 account, uh, if you have any questions on data lake storage, please post it in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.